Hey everybody, it's Bobby. I just thought I'd give you a little tour of my in the house kind of corner. It's just a tiny space. Here's my 2017 Gibson. Get this chair out of the way. 2017 Gibson Les Paul Standard. And it's a Heritage Cherry, I think it's called. Got a really nice flame top. That's kind of why I chose it. Here's my 2016 um, Gibson Les Paul Studio. I blinged him up a, a bit with the chrome rings and stuff like that. The back wall is a wooden wall that I made out of 1x2s, 2x2s, 1x4s. I stained them and put them on a um, plywood just to protect the sound from the neighbors. So they're hung up there on the side here. Now you come down here, there's another wall I built with some drumsticks, some signature John Bonham, signature stick. Billy Cobham, Zildjian, a couple other ones. Here's my studio mo monitors. They're Dyn Audio 5As. They're the ones I had in my recording studio. So I don't have the studio no more, so I brought them in here. Here's my computer. Big mess. This is the other speaker. And there's just some computer speakers on top, just for reference, as an A and B thing. Here's my headphone wall. Just a bunch of headphones. Got some Audio Technica, some Blue, some Shures, some Sony's. And uh, there's the Tascam. This is where I'll, I do all the recording of my tunes. I don't have a, a DAW or anything like that. So I just do everything, record all the tracks on here, mix on here, master on here. It's a Tascam DP32. I don't even know if they make these anymore. But here, it's coming out of, it's coming out of the speakers. And I've got the big knob, which I can select. Here. Right now it's on the computer input, so if I want to hear the computer coming out of the, the monitors, or if I click that, it's coming from the task end. Pretty simple stuff. Shut that off. Um, here's my head rush I really like this it's like a it's like a pedal you got a bunch of pedals you can put them on there the amps effects delays reverbs phasers whatever you want you get an amp selection cab selection it's got a bunch of different cabs bunch of different stuff and there's the four switches to turn on the effects or turn them on or off and I've got that running to the Tascam for recording. And I've also got it running to this little oh, Black Star. It's a Black Star HT1R, I believe. It's just a one watt tube amp. In the house, I can't be blasting. And there's a 112 cabinet that I made. I made the cabinet. And I bought the <coughs> speaker for my guitar tech. The guy who does, let me take this camera, if I can take this off. <clears throat> ah, fuck you. There it is. Sorry about that. It's a 112 inch speaker. I don't even know what kind of speaker it is. He had it lying around. He said he hasn't used it, but it works. It matched the the impedance for the head, the ohms, or whatever. So he sold it to me for 20 bucks, so I bought it. 
and I built the grill. That's just a black star sticker. So there's my little home, uh, my home studio setup. Very small. It's right behind a staircase, so I can't go too far back because of the the railings here. But that's it. That's the whole spiel. Oh wait, I got a couple more guitars. Here's a Squire Telly that I just bought recently. And I'm actually really surprised how good this thing sounds. Bought it from Long McQuaid. The fret ends were sharp. So I took my fret dress end file and dressed them up. Here's my Martin acoustic I think you've seen this one before I did a I did a video on this guy it's a d10e and the affinity and this is a tele affinity tele I also got a epiphone sorry about the shaking It's a 339. I'm a small guy. Those 335s are huge. This thing sounds amazing. It's the new ones. Without the fucking lurch headstock on it. Smaller. I like it. Anyway. Thanks for watching. This is just my modest little set up there's the wood wall that was a pain he asked to build but I hope you enjoyed that anyway cheers have a great day enjoy the weather fantastic thanks <laughs>